Hey, what's up, guys? I uh, hope you're doing well. Just wanted to do a little unboxing uh, first print video here with my Longer 10 3D resin printer that I just purchased off Amazon. So, came all nicely packed in this box. Um, came with everything I needed, with the exception of a couple of things. Um, one of them, I think, so I, so I got this for $190. Uh, I think normally it's like 230 And I think part of why it was cheaper was that I did not receive any uh, photopolymer resin with it. So I purchased this separately off Amazon. It's actually made by a different company. It's made by uh, Elegoo, which I think they make their own printers um, as well. But it seems to have worked just fine. Uh, this is my first foray into really any kind of 3D printing, let alone this resin stuff. But anyways, I just sort of picked a random one and it, it seems to have worked. Um, so, uh, first things first, I wanted to show you guys the software. So, this is the software, it comes with it, it comes on a little um, USB flash drive, if I can find it, right here. So you get a little flash drive that you put a little SD card into that it comes with, um, and it has the software installer on it, and also has a few, a few prints. Um, so you just load that software on. I went and found an image myself, uh, um, off a website. I, I honestly, I don't remember the name of the website right now. Um, probably right here, cults3d.com. So check it out. Um, but yeah, anyways, you throw that image in. Mine started like super, super tiny. I could hardly see it, but I highlighted it. You come over here and you use like this setting, which is uh, edit it. You can resize it, rotate it, uh, scale it, make it larger and smaller. This next setting uh, is called fix. Um, it will, I guess, identify any issues with your print, but mine had zero issues. Uh, the next thing is structure. So you can see here, like after I was ready, um, I came in and I, I set some settings on the structure and you just click generate and it builds all, all these supports out for you. Um, and you can change like how thick those supports are, how thick the connection points are, how densely placed they are. Um, the next thing you do is what this setting we're on right now, which is called slice. Um, and you basically choose the thickness of your print layer uh, and the number of plate layers. So I'll show you the plate layers in a minute, but I chose to go from 50, uh, I think that's nanometers down to, I'm not sure what that is, U, UM, uh, down to 25. Um, and I included 10 plate layers. It started at zero. Um, and then once you've done, once you've sliced it, oh, it's not sliced. It's kind of cool. You can uh, we'll let that slice here for a second. And, uh, maybe tells you it's slicing the scene and then you can uh, view every single different layer that it's going to print so here's that like we can see those first 10 plate layers so those are just going to give it something to something to rest on like maybe if you wanted to display it on your shelf or something and then you start to be able to see the different the different points that it's going to be laying out as it goes pretty cool um, so yeah all in all uh, software was super easy to use didn't have really any learning curve um, just kind of started playing with it and figured it out. So pretty cool stuff. Um, and then you just uh, save that file, you load it back onto that SD card, you pull it out of the little USB thing, you throw it right here in the side of your printer, um, and then yeah, it goes to work. So this one, I, I chose to do those, those smaller layers. It took about 10 hours. So I think I did about double the layers I maybe needed to based on the standard settings. Uh, it was like 2,300 layers, um, but pretty happy with how it turned out so let's check it out just remove the lid here this is kind of a pain to build by the way so if you have a friend like a second person to help you when you're putting this together I'd, I'd recommend it um, and wear the gloves so they give you some nitrile gloves don't use latex it says that I'm not sure why but do not use latex um, but make sure you wear these because I didn't the first couple times and, and it does uh, make your skin a little bit itchy it's not like didn't burn me or anything but um, it is an irritant so try not to get the resin on your skin um, and then here we go. So here's our Ren and Stimpy. Still got all those supports. As you can see, there's the supports it designed. So we need to go through here. We need to wash it in alcohol. It'll get all the, the additional resin off. And then you wash it a second time in alcohol, and then we'll remove all the supports. Going to have to be careful because he's got such skinny little arms here. Um, but, yeah, again, for, for a printer that cost uh, less than $200, and for somebody who's never done any kind of 3D printing before and I'm pretty happy for this uh, first result, so let me know what you guys think.